Texans caught in the crossfire of a shooter at a congressional baseball practice outside of D.C. credit Capitol Police for saving their lives. That story tops this edition of your Texas Political Roundup. They saved all of us out there. There is no question about it. We had no arms. All we had was bats. Congressman Roger Williams spoke on crutches to reporters. Williams hurt his leg when he dove into the dugout for cover from the gunman, firing outside the field gates. Capitol Police eventually killed the shooter, but not before one of Williams' staffers, Zach Barth, took a bullet. Barth was released from the hospital the same day. The attack has raised questions about the need for increased security for elected officials. Well, more than half of Republicans in Texas say Donald Trump is honest, trustworthy, and competent. In the latest University of Texas at Austin, Texas Tribune poll, just 9% of Republican voters said Russia influenced the election. 81% said it didn't. Trump's approval among Texans ran predictably along party lines, with just 5% of Democrats agreeing that he has the temperament to be president. One of the items Governor Greg Abbott has asked lawmakers to consider during the upcoming special session is outlawing local tree regulations. More than 50 cities in Texas have ordinances aimed at protecting trees. Many of the local rules require property owners to either pay a fee for removing a tree or replant trees after they cut some down. But Abbott is calling for the end of those local protections. He argues that tree ordinances are an unconstitutional violation of private property rights. The governor, who has had his own scrape with Austin tree regulations as a homeowner, calls the rules a socialistic infringement on landowner freedoms. I'm Justin Dane. Check out all the latest Texas Tribune, University of Texas polls by visiting texastribune.org.